Tommy St. Jones is going to be a weirdo. I hope you like it. I am, I'm, I'm in it. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you will please take your seats. The lights are about to go down. Oh, I should have faded it out just then, shouldn't I? Let's let's do let's do a little. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to check the sound before we begin. <laughs> That's good. We've got stereo sound, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Bez. Quiet, please. Fifty. Just just for fifty nine minutes. Thank you for walking down the red carpet, those of you that did. Hello, I'm the award-losing Richard Dedo Menici, <laughs> born according to the Royal College of Art in 1798. <laughs> I didn't actually study at the Royal College of Art. I don't want you to think that I studied at the Royal College of Art because I'm actually quite anti-monarchist, which is why I boycott Dutch originals, these acts from the 1980s, <laughs> Victoria Station, and, um, but at least I've got my principles, my Victoria principles. <laughs> Interesting. That's, that kind of gauges the mood of the audience. And I think, I think it's going to be a good night. Um, it's great to be back in Manchester. I've, I've been making work in Manchester for 10 years now. Yeah. Um, that was 10 years ago, I think, at the Hazard Festival, produced by Tams and Drury, who's in the room. Also, five years ago, we did this. Me running with a fake torch, just about a minute ahead of the actual torch. <laughs> So basically every five years I like to come to Manchester and do something that confuses people. Which is why I welcome you all to the world premiere of uh, 24 Hour Party People Redux. Uh, hands up if you've seen 24 Hour Party People. That's, that's the majority of you, good. But, um, the rest of you, I should warn you, there will be spoilers in this performance. Yeah, that's another test. I'm excited to announce is the longest redux I've ever made. So it will last 12 minutes. Yeah, that's two minutes longer than Superman for the Quest for Peace redux that we filmed last summer in Milton Keynes. So the Hobbit, no, I'm not. I, I would like to do some of Peter Jackson's other films, but um, maybe Heavenly Creatures. I want to tell you we're not making a redux here now tonight. Some people come to Redux premieres and they're disappointed that we're not actually making a film in the one hour long show. That's impossible. It's not impossible, but it's very difficult. We've already filmed this Redux. We filmed it a month ago. I've been editing it ever since. If you want to miss the preamble, we've got 18 minutes. You can go out and make your own Redux. The Hacienda's end is just around the corner. I, I welcome that. Just send it to me and I'll post it on the reduxproject.com. <clears throat> this is the theme tune. Good. Uh, the Redux project started by mistake in 2013. Intrigued by a good review, I did a second Redux, a 48-hour remake of two and a half minutes of Cloud Atlas in Glasgow. It was more ambitious, utilising practical in-camera special effects. I screened the finished film at a local premiere and a reviewer from Scotsman gave it four stars, which is noteworthy because they only gave Cloud Atlas three stars and that was the film that I Reduxed. More dangerous stunts. Look at that. From the outset, the Redux project has been interested in casting against type. Um, doesn't always happen, we're Jade Hartley. The moment that I audaciously attempt to freeze time, which you can see here. It works really well, except for that person over there. They didn't realise what we were trying to do. Uh, the effects were better than the original film in many respects. By the way, which came first out of these two shop signs in Manchester? They're very similar, aren't they? Who, who reduxed who? This is me impersonating a street utility cabinet. We walk past hundreds of these little cabinets every day. We don't even notice them. And that's why I think they could be the perfect opportunity. A satirical solution to London's housing crisis. They're a little bit small. I've seen smaller flats. I've been writing lyrics to other popular American television shows. Tony Cup, they're never gonna stop. Hey! There I am, you can just see me in the back there. See <laughs> Continually breaking continuity on purpose by walking from left to right in every shot. 
thereby undermining, subconsciously undermining the quality of the film. I would like to now talk about the redux I made last year of X Collective, who I met when I was doing a show called Popaganda at Z Arts in Manchester. Me and X Collective, who some of you might know, last year, just over a year ago, we remade Queer as Folk. Because it was X Collective, we called it Queer as Yoke. We had some support from Tams and Jury at Word of Warning, and we screened it here at home. None of the eggs are here today because Sarah's in Hull, Laney's getting married in two days, and Lowry's in London. And to dub a television shirt they're making, which you can all watch at the end of August, here are the people that came to see Queer as Yoke. Here's some of the alcoholic drinks that we served. And now here we are, because what happened afterwards was uh, we bumped into Dave Moutry. Even though it was the first birthday on the day, he had lots of birthday celebrations, but he came to see our redux and he said, maybe as a joke, you should come back next year and do 24-hour party people. I held him to that. <laughs> the filming happened uh, for this redux the morning after the London Bridge attack. So I, I arrived in Manchester with like having had no sleep. I'd just been mainly to Americans who'd been posting this, explaining that that's Tower Bridge and not London Bridge. So I arrived, I look quite awake, but I've only had about two hours of sleep. Sarah Cocker was in the original movie, as, as we can see in this animated gif that I've made. I don't know if you can see uh, Sarah at the back with the, with the hair, and you can kind of see her in the same place and the, uh, the top as well, looking about 17 years younger. There, that's a good one. She broke the fourth wall in both shots. It's quite good. I'm all, I'm all for that. Sarah also played Mick Hucknall in 24 Hour Party People Redux because she's got a bit of a... It's not like an infatuation. It's more like she thinks that she is Mick Hucknall. Right, I think it's time to show you the uh, world premiere of 24 Hour Party People Redux. How do you feel, everybody? You ready? Yay! Introducing 24 Hour Party People Redux. Should we, should we put the lights down here, yeah, lovely? You don't have to contend with the possibility of death. And how does it feel now that it's fucked up in your face? Glorious. <laughs> Glorious. The happier it is death, we'll never grow up. Unlike your good self, Tony. I feel like a big dandelion cock. Participants onto the set. Participants, to incentivise you, I've got a bottle of like Prosecco. You can have some. I know. I know. But first, you have to answer a question. Come, come over here with me. As long as it in what's capital Cambodia, I'm alright. Phnom Penh. Um, can you explain to me what it was like to be in the Redux project? Very emotional, man. Um, alright, good buzz, man. Yeah, it was. Like um, a job centre or something. Uh, it's not. It's not an interview. Um, you're a great bez, I thought. Right. You practiced in advance. 20 years, bro. I didn't need to get you to practice the walk. You already had it, didn't you? Right, yeah. And listen, I've just seen with nail on that. I think I'm nailed on for that, I know. <laughs> I've, I've been asked. I've, I was going to mention this later. I've just been asked to redux that yeah. in Cumbria. Oh, let me be who would with you, nail. Who would you please? Oh, with nail. I'll, yeah. even, I'll even drink the lighter fluid like the man did in the film. I can imagine you would. Thank you. Thank you so much. That made it. Who else would like to come and say a couple of words? Anybody? This is Nicola, who played Lindsay. Yes, Congratulations. Thank you. Um, what was it like to see him for the first time? Very yeah. funny, yeah. How do you feel taking part in the process now, looking back on it a month ago? Um, it's one of the best experiences I've had. Well, I'm going to stop you there. There's no point There's no point asking you any more questions. You can't argue with that. Um, Nicola, thank you. Um, you're amazing, and it was great, and thank you for taking part. Who's next? Rosa? You played two separate characters, didn't you? And there was an extra as well. And you didn't really have much of a costume change, but I think it worked. I think your Margie Clark and your Yvette were both very different in terms of their characterisation, so congratulations. Congratulations on the dress. It's beautiful, isn't it? I dressed up too. I've got matching socks on. All the buttons on my shirt work. Now, you might not recognise some of these performers out of their costumes. Like, without, without the wig, you might not know that this was Sean Ryder. How are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Um, 
the original. I watched the original, and the review that I saw in the original actually said that um, the first part was like a night out with Ian Curtis, and the second part was like a night out with Bez. Yeah. I spent an afternoon with Bez, and <laughs> enough said. <laughs> and we, were, we weren't able to shut down the traffic in that street, were we? We were dodging cars. It was a bit dangerous. It was but... fun and games, to say the least. And the weather was too good, wasn't it? It was. It was, it was very unmanned. If anyone wants to make a redux, it's very easy. Send them to me, I'll put them on the reduxproject.com. Christopher, hello. Hi, man. This is Christopher, everybody. Round of applause for Christopher. You might not recognise Christopher. Christopher had a big curly wig on, didn't you? I did, yes. yes, yes. You're unrecognisable, out of character. You were actually in the original film, 24 Hour Party People, were you not? I was, yes. I was in all the interior Hacienda scenes, so no one would see me apart from me. Really. But it operates on a subconscious level. <laughs> the best the best background extra is the background extra that no one notices. If you're noticed, Correct. you're not doing it well enough. Correct. Well, it was a pleasure working with you. Thank you Thank so you much. much. Um, anyone else want to come and... Why doesn't everyone just come over and say yes, hi to come. me? Everyone come well, over here. Hello, Ben. How are you? Have you ever seen a snooker queue with stage right before? Me, oh. no. you, need, you need a bit of chalk on your head. Georgina, you used to work for Factory Records. I did, yeah, it was amazing. But you've got some stories. Oh, yeah, but I'm sworn to secrecy. We don't have time either, so, but if you want to you try and... <laughs> If you want to try and get the stories out of her, um, she'll be in the bar afterwards. You might not recognise Billy, but Billy was playing Tony Wilson, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And the old man in the canal. <laughs> if you didn't notice my canal split screen, I learned that technique from David Fincher. He does it a bit better than I do. It worked, didn't it? I'm glad that was that we didn't, that wasn't planned. We kind of improvised that. I remember we talked about the time. Honestly, you pull us off. I know you did. We did it, we did it. Thank you so much. No, thank you, thank you. It's been a pleasure working with you. A complete experience, but the grumpy old man thing just killed me. It worked. It worked, didn't it? I'm glad. Well, it will be on YouTube tomorrow, so you can have a look at it again. To your heart's delight. Thank you so much, Billy. It was a pleasure. Hello, sir. How are you? I'm very good, sir. How are you? I'm sorry you didn't get a proper speaking part in the film. I got sent to fuck off, so that was sick. That's true. That's an important line. Oh my god, look. I, I only asked you at the very last minute yeah. if you would be willing to play Ian Curtis, and it was a big role to play. And thank you for, thank you for being able to do it. Because that's a tricky one, isn't it? And um, I think we're all conscious that it was a film that is still very, you know, uh, local. Well, you know, it's still a living story, isn't it? People are still here. Um, and uh, so I think everyone's being very sensitive to not turn it into a, a stupid parody of itself and to try and um, be respectful and do it with love. And um, I thought your portrayal uh, was one of those, so thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. It was uh, really nerve-wracking because what you don't know is when I was doing that, uh, the mic was on on the stage and I can't sing. I'm terrible. <laughs> so it was, it was my friends we know. Some more fans. And you can't do Ian Curtis without putting energy into it, so I just had to sing it, and it was pretty yeah. horrible. Yeah. 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 I think it helped. I think it really helped. So thank you so much. And I apologise for leaving the volume up. I don't know why I did that. Um, <laughs> thank you so much for taking part. It was a pleasure. Hello. Hello. I'm good. Uh, I was your perfect extra because absolutely no one would recognise I was in this film whatsoever. Oh. <laughs> Tell us, were you in the Hacienda scene? I'm in the film, the footage dancing on a podium in silver hot pants. Wow. Yeah. Does anyone live in the Hacienda flats across the street? If so, can we come and set a podium up in your living room? And thank you uh, for being much. in the original and for being in the Redux. So thank you so much. Hello, how are you? You were in the original as well, were you not? Yes, in the funeral. The funeral scene, which we didn't make. What's it like doing a kind of rubbish remake of it 15 years later? I don't think it was rubbish. I love it. Hey. I think it was fantastic. Hey. 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 Brilliant. I'll tell you about my ideas for more in Manchester. It worked last year when I said I've got ideas for more. Um, thank you, cast. Thank you thank so much. You. It's been a pleasure. It's been, it's been your pleasure. Do you want to say anything? Yes. <laughs> the University of the Hacienda. I thought I'd do this for the crack and loved every minute of it. Thank you. Hey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We've never had a red carpet like that before, the Redux project. Oh, job, job yeah. Just wanted to say thank you to Richard for having us all involved because oh, it's yeah. been an Thanks amazing experience you. and something we'll remember for the rest of our lives. Wow. Thank you. Richard! Richard! All right, all right, back to your seats. <laughs> back to your seats. Thank you, everybody. This scene was, took the longest to do. It required like Matt. 
things and that's the thing and that took a long time. Here are the flowers, they were reduced four pounds to one pound. Here's Townsend's laptop that I edited it on, it's not true. It's not the first Redux to have 24 in it. We also did the Keith Sutherland 24. That would be a good mashup, wouldn't it? 24 hour party people where Tony Wilson is an undercover bomb detective. Look at him. There he is. We can do it left foot forward and we take nine steps. Are you in character yet? That was that was a sarcastic question. And then we went to the near, very nearby co-op funeral home. So I'm gonna say that's a wrap. Meanwhile, two Jude Law films are shot very closely together in Manchester, in the Northern Quarter. That's not Jude Law. That's someone I know who looks a bit like Jude Law, who I'm gonna cast. Uh, both Alfie and Sherlock Holmes are filmed within spitting distance of each other. Between those two is Dale Street, where Captain America was filmed. Those are just test shots. We haven't actually filmed anything yet. Isabel and Townsend, I've bought you some flowers because, you know, it's the premiere. Yay! It's been a crazy redux and uh, we did it though. And uh, I said, when do you want to do Webnail and I redux? I thought maybe next summer or something. They said, uh, in a fortnight? And I went, yeah, all right, because it's a very scalable project. So that's going to be happening on the 21st of July and hopefully by making fake versions of things that are already fake, we can somehow arrive at a greater truth. I've been Rich Delamenici. Thank you very much. Good night. Um, participants, if you'd like to come back to the stage, I've got, um, I've got a drinks voucher for you. Yeah. Only participants, please. Oh, we've never met each other before. You did. I'm going to give you, I need to give you a name. Um, aspiring songwriter. And you need to be Michael the journalist as well. So I'll try and take it. With Neil, I was quite amazing. <laughs> I want to do that shot. That would be bad. Well, I'm asked them. I have asked them. Yeah, yeah. Give one out. Give one out to everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Downstairs bar. Double booked and stuff that day, and it's so great that you managed to come down. Thank you. Thank you very much. I was sat over here. Ask Isabel about it. Isabel? I hope I hope you can get one of those. Sounds like a nice thing. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, there's two there. I'll keep them up for myself. Oh, like that. Take a couple of walks. Yeah. Yes. Definitely. We go on every fishing and and Bravo. Oh, go on. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. That was great. How you doing? I really enjoyed the intro, though. I thought that was great. Thank you. The actual preamble. Yeah. Oh no, I think it helps to just kind of explain the context of it before you show it. Well, definitely. Yeah, not too much, but a little bit. Have you had a good? Have you had a good? Opening yourself? I think so. Yes. I've had a good opening myself. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what they say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good opening yourself. Thank you very much. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. I think that's what they say, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in it far too much. You are in it, aren't you? You've got lots of cameos. Yeah. Well, I am Tony totally Wells' body yeah. double, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you're the front driver. Yeah. You're the front driver. I love it. Richard, so are you yet to do Sherlock? I haven't done that yet. That's, yeah. that's, that's, that's what that's I'd like to do. Maybe. I'd like to do Captain America, Sherlock, oh, and um, Alfie, yeah. all in the Northern Quarter. Yeah, well, we'll drop you an email to say that yeah. we're definitely still up for it. Okay. It was super fun. Yeah. Yeah, it was really good. So yeah. yeah, it was great. I'll see you at the bar, yeah? See you at the bar, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. How long have I got until you need the space? Uh, they haven't told me, but you know. I'll be like five or ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Five.
Yeah. Please. <laughs> All right. 24 hour party before.